Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm going to do another episode here, kind of going over a salary cap build. And in this one, I'm going to talk about the three areas that you can tank in salary cap here. So right now, uh, I've got um, a lineup here that's pretty balanced. And uh, actually, I've got the wrong one in. So it's pretty balanced. I'm able to have Eric Dickerson with Evasive, have this Tyreek Hill, and Randy Moss. You know, I see Mahomes got him with two abilities. And as well, I've got just a, a center with identified. I like to know where the user is. So the first area that you can tank, and the most important area I would say, is your O line. It's completely unnecessary to have anything substantial on the O-line. From what I've seen, there's no difference between having them that much and, I mean, it's not worth it. You might notice a slight difference in a run all lineup, that might be the way to go. But in, if you're all out running, committing to it, you might want to go with the higher end ones, but that's probably an area where you could tank as well in a run lineup and then just have a better defense. So the second, so I think that's the first thing. First of all, that's the most important thing. Tank your O-line, keep them around 80 overall. There's really no need, no need. Even have the over the 83s, 82s are probably unnecessary, but I've, I've got them slightly higher in there. Second area that you can tank, on your D-line, you want to have like LT and outside linebackers, maybe one good guy on the D-line who you can send in there, but obviously I've got like a 72, an 82, Fletcher Cox defensive tackle just because he's, he's a big guy in the middle there, and just a whatever Deacon Jones because he fits in. So those are definitely areas that you can go very low to, to benefit and just get better better results, I think, in your game because that's this is my main lineup, and that's what I'm doing because I just have other guys who can get at the quarterback in middle linebacker, you know, move. I move Dion into the slot and blitz him as well. So there's there's just other ways that you don't really – you just need those guys to engage with the D-line and have other guys who are going to get in and get at the quarterback. And the, so that's definitely the, the, the second area. So the third area that I think you should consider tanking your O-line in a salary cap build – is your wide receiver three. I'm using Miko Hardman, and I had like Holt there. So just using a 30 overall, I think, can actually really benefit you. There's no need to really go, I think, that hard with your third one. He's like a great example of a guy who's got, what, 92 speed? Let me look what his speed is. Yeah, 92 speed. So that's a great example of someone who is going to do the job where, you know, you don't really necessarily need to live like a hold. If you've got your, you know, your Randy Moss and your Tyree Kill, you're basically covered there with a spec guy and a speed guy. So why not just use another speed guy to kind of close the deal? So that's the three areas. Again, tank your O-line, two. Tank your D-line, three. Wide receiver, three. If you cut those areas as much as possible, I think you're going to be able to notice that you're going to be able to boost up your defense, you get a couple extra abilities out there. I think it's it's definitely what I'm doing, and I've been on a good run here. I think I've been like 10 and 3 in my last one since I've uh, built this lineup, and yeah, that's definitely the way to go. Another bonus tip, Dickerson, have evasive on him. It only really is one ability, and it gives you spins and jukes. And yeah, if I really had the extra room, I might even put a, 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 an X factor on him because there's a chance you can break off five more runs and, and get into the zone. So something to consider. That's my, what I'm giving you guys. Those are the top three areas that you should be tanking in order to win in this version of Salary Crap of the Last Chance Qualifier. So thanks a lot for checking out this video. I'm Time Bomb. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you later. Boom, boom.